Good day. I'm Dr. Bob Henry, Professor of Medicine at the University of California, San Diego, and Chief of the Division of Endocrinology and Metabolism at the VA Medical Center here in San Diego. I'm going to briefly talk to you about some of the scientific information that was presented at this year's 71st Annual Scientific Sessions of the American Diabetes Association. The topic uh, what I'd like to talk about is uh, the GLP-1 agonist. There was a lot of information presented, uh, including the once-weekly uh, formulation, particularly um, exenatide QW. Uh, and that, um, the data was very interesting because bidurion, or exenatide QW, um, has, is under evaluation by the FDA and one of the main concerns was the possibility that it could um, be associated with a prolonged QT interval. And of course, a QT interval has um, a prolonged QT can have serious cardiac effects, including sudden death. It was shown and presented at the ADA that um, the, a full QTC study was conducted um, in with exenatide at very high levels and showed absolutely no change in QTC regardless of how it was evaluated by three different methods of QTC evaluation. So this is good news that um, this compound, this once, once a week compound, uh, appears to have no effect on QTC and um, maybe now uh, will be uh, considered for approval by the FDA. In any event, there was a lot of other information on um, the various GLP-1 preparation, uh, and all of them showing that these compounds are all quite effective at improving glucose control, reducing body weight, and, um, and having some uh, potential benefits on cardiovascular risk factors. Um, I'm going to wrap things up. I want to thank you very much. If you need additional information, I encourage you to go to IDOC, IDOC.org, um, on your computer. Thank you.